Hey everyone, it's Josh from Easy Crypto. As you've probably seen from our other video, or certainly if you just get in this video, there is an official coin change. Ethereum is now the most profitable coin to change. So this is gonna be a little tutorial video as to how to change over to make sure that you're doing that and mining Ethereum and getting the best bang for your buck out of those machines. The prices have gone through the roof. You're earning some seriously nice coin right now, which is really, really exciting. So without further ado, I'm gonna pass you over now to Jason, who's gonna give you a technical walkthrough of Esmos and how to do this. If you do have any problems, of course, give the office a call. We're here to help you as best we can. We've got obviously Jason and Andy and the tech guys standing around now um, to be able to assist with this if you do get stuck. But it's a pretty simple copy and paste exercise. Many of you may have been mining Ethereum um, over 12 months ago previously anyway, so you may already have some of the similar settings. So it should be quite a straightforward thing to do. So give us a call if you have any problems, but we just wanted to get this information out to you as soon as we could just to make this um, as easy as possible. So I'll hand over to Jason and we can get you started from there. Hey guys, so this is Jason from Easy Crypto and this is just gonna be the quick Ethereum mining tutorial, uh, which Josh has just kindly mentioned. So uh, we'll get straight into it. So we've broken it down into seven different points. Pretty easy to follow. We'll go through each one and then we'll be a bit of a little text and help going through each one to um, help you out as well. So yeah, we'll get straight into it. And then the first step, so number one, is you'll need to go and get an Ethereum uh, address, a wallet address. So where we're gonna go for that is to Binance. So if you have a Binance account or a Bitforex account, any account um, that has an Ethereum wallet on there. But for this, we'll use Binance because most of you should have one of those. Uh, and how you're gonna do that is if you go into wallet up here on the toolbar and then spot wallet. So we'll click onto there. And then you'll see down here that you obviously have your, your coin balances and then your crypto below that. So if Ethereum isn't near the top, because if you don't have any, then what you'll need to do is in the search coin bar here, you type in ETH. And then obviously that's for your fiat coins up there, but down here it brings up Ethereum. And then what you'll then need to do is if you click on deposit for Ethereum, then it'll bring up your wallet over here. So if you click on that little gold icon there, it copies your address and then that's all you need. So that's where you'll get your address from. So that's step one. And then step two now is we're gonna head to simple mining. So this tutorial will be based off uh, mining on SMOS, the software we use. So step two now uh, is gonna be, if you go into your group config, so on the left over here, if you click onto there, and then we're gonna wanna add a new group. So we'll click on to add group. And then the miner we're recommending, the miner that we're using is G Miner down here. So you find G Miner, and then if you click onto there, and then we're gonna use the top one. So version 2.21, that's today. Um, so if you use that one, that's the most recent. So if you're watching this video uh, after today, and there's a more recent version, then choose that more recent version. Um, yeah, you don't have to sit to the version we're using now, that's just because that's the most updated one. And then what you're gonna need to do, so step three, is you're gonna need the config line for it. And we've already got that for you, so don't worry, you don't need to go searching for it. Um, so I've got it on a little notepad here, but it will be down in the description. So all you need to do is copy and paste that in. And then it's just one thing that we need to change before uh, you can save that group. So I'll copy that. And then you head back over to here. So if you delete everything in here already, and then you paste your a new config line in there and then what we'll need to do so we pasted that into here now if you go and grab your ethereum address so we come back to binance copied your ethereum address come back to simple mining and then all you then need to do is where it says wallet address here so be careful to keep the space in between my r and the w so just highlight from a w and then you only want to highlight to the s so you'll notice there's a full stop after there before there's a dollar sign and then rig name so you wanna just highlight wallet address. And then if you then paste your wallet in, it might move down the line, that's absolutely fine. But make sure then there's, you know, the full stop's still there and then you have a space. So say if I deleted that now, it would move down. So you need to make sure there's a space between user and then the zero, which it will start with. And then what you can then do, so if you name a group, um, so, you know, we'll just name it Ethereum. And then if you add that as a group, that will then be saved into here. So you see that's saved in there now. 
So the next step now will be actually getting your rig to mine it. So if you head back to your rig list over here, and then whether you've got 1, 10, 20 rigs, what you're going to need to do is however many you want to switch over, that's how many you can select. So for this one, we'll just select one. But obviously each rig will have its own selection box, or if you want to select them all at once, you just click the top button there and that will select them all for you. So for now, we'll just select this one. And then what you need to do is actions in the top left. And then if you go to group config, and what that does is that brings through your group from a back end, um, so you can choose them now. So we'll click on Ethereum and then click save. So this will now boot into obviously the new miner and the new network. So it might take a minute or two. So don't worry if it takes a few minutes, depending on your internet, uh, it might take a few minutes longer. But if you give it a couple of minutes to load in, and then we'll see what it's doing when it actually starts to mine Ethereum. So what you're looking out for. And then after that, we'll put some um, the specialist overclocks on there to get you the most optimum speed. So we'll just wait for that to load in. Okay, so now you can see that on your console here, it's just loaded in. Um, so when it starts to say, you know, started mining on the GPUs, and then you'll find that it's um, generating the DAG. Uh, essentially, that just means it's um, starting to mine. It's finding the correct files for it. So it should, in a second, start mining. So the signs you're going to be looking out for, I'll show you, so you know it's all good to go. So obviously, the first sign to check when you've swapped over is to check you've still got all six cards. Because on some switchovers, it can be, you know, power fluctuations so it can sometimes knock out cars very very rare but it can happen so the first thing to check is six out of six and that's fine and then you'll see down here then it'll start producing a speed point so you'll see gpu zero to five and then you'll have your mega hash speed just at the bottom here so it'll give you kind of an overall speed so that means it's mining so that's great that's a first check and then the second thing to do now is we're going to put the overclock settings onto that machine so how we do that is if you just cross out of here and then on your rig, so what we're going to need to go in is to the overclocking section here. So this will be step um, number five. So after you've loaded the miner, we've you know, confirmed it's mining. So now we need to put the settings on there to make sure it's running at kind of an optimum level. So overclocking is the next one. So if we click into here, then you might already have your rig in a, an overclocking group. So then how we need to get that out is you'll see at the top enabled here, you've got a group overclock enabled. If you click that, it will then disable it. So then you've got you know free reign to put whatever um, overclocks you want in there. So depending on what rigs you've got, whether you've got the 1080 Ti or the 2080 series rigs, the overclocks are gonna differ um, very slightly. So these are gonna be for the 1080 Ti rigs only first. So what you're gonna wanna put in, so for the core, if you put in 110, so that's going to be your core. The memory will be 1000. So pop that into there. Your power limit uh, will be 160. And then target temperature is fine at 75. And then we typically put the minimum fan speed up to around you know, 75 or 80. Um, if it's cooler, you can tone it down, but keep it kind of 75, 80. And then what you're going to do down here is if you click reload, so it defaults to overclock on the fly, but if you put it onto reload, and then if you click save. So you notice here currently that the speed's around 196. So that was the, the mega hash it was getting currently before we put the overclock settings onto it. So then we can watch it now boot into here. So you see that it just it reloads the miner. This should be pretty quick. You shouldn't have to wait a few minutes for this because it's already downloaded the new miner. And then in a second, so you can see now it's gonna boot in just fine. And then we will now get kind of an updated speed for after we put the, um, the specialist overclocks on it. So again, it'll generate the files. So as you can see now, it's booting in, it's given a speed. So you know, it's up to around you know, it's two. You can monitor it here. So it gives you kind of a live mega hash, but it fluctuates quite a lot. So you, your average will be you know, somewhere between all of those numbers, but it will give you your mega hash up here. So you can see it's you know, nearly 210. So those settings will give us you know, nearly an extra 10% which is always nice. So that's the fifth thing that you needed to do. So overclocking is now done. So now for the, the 2080s, so they will have slightly different overclocks. So what we'll now do is click on overclocking again. So you can either do it here through the top, or then if you come back to your rig and if you click through here, then this is for 2080s. So the numbers for the 2080s is gonna be 40 core. The same memory, so that's still a thousand, and then the power limit will be 160 again. So 
So memory and power stay the same. Core is 40. So pop that in. Temperature and fan speed again can be the same. And then just make sure that you reload um, the miner down here. So we'll save that. You can always click to load it in again. So we're using now currently a 1080 Ti rig. So those previous overclocks would have been better for this. But we just showed you what you need to put in for the 2080 series. Um, so you get an optimum run on those. So that's all fine. So that's mining away. So now the, the next thing to do. So this is nearly the final step. So step six is going to be the, the mining pool that you're in. So the mining pool that we're using is Ethermine. So that is this website here. So again, all the URLs will be in the description, so you don't need to go and find them. So it's ethermine.org. And then on the top toolbar here, if you make sure that you're clicked on ETH, just so it, uh, you know you're in the right pool. And then how you're going to find kind of your statistics. So this pool is going to show you, you know, your active workers, how many coins you've mined, and just give you a live readout um, while you're mining. So what we'll need to do, so you can either grab your address from two places for to put it into a pool to obviously find the statistics relevant to you so if you come into the deposit here within binance again so how we found that obviously wallet and then spot wallet just a, a quick go through this again just so you know but you find ethereum down here either searching it or you can just scroll down click on deposit and then if you copy it from here or then the other place to find it is in your simple mining account so when you've swapped it over to your new group, you'll find your Ethereum here. If you click on that group, so you'll see it's underlined. If you click on there, you'll then have your group set up and then this will then be your address here. So obviously only copy from a zero to before the full stop and then that'll be your wallet address. So we'll copy that from here. And then if you then come into the minor address tab up here, so in the top right, if you click into here, and then if you paste your wallet address and then click enter it will then give you your kind of stats so we've only just started mining now so it won't give us a readout it'll take around five to ten minutes maybe longer to register on the pool so don't worry about that straight away um but yeah there's one thing we need to do so um as ethereum's developed you know some different pools have got slightly better and some pools have auto payouts and then some pools have kind of required manual payouts but Sometimes you can set a required manual uh, as a minimum payout and then it will automatically pay you. So that's what we'll need to do now. So we, all we need to do is change one slight thing and then the pool will be paying you out automatically. And so how we do that. Now, so we've got the address at the top. Uh, you've got your dashboard payouts and settings tab. So the one that we need to go into is the settings. So if you click onto here and then this is then where we're going to kind of alter the payout. So as you can see, there's, there's three fields. The top one, your email address, you don't need to bother with that to ensure you get a payout. So you can see the second one, payment threshold in Ether. And the minimum here is 0.05. So it's default set to uh, one Ethereum, which you know you might not mind for a while if you've only got one rig. Um, at today's rate, it can take anywhere between 20 to 30 days to mine one Ethereum on one six card 1080 Ti rig. So if you want it more frequently paid out, and what we suggest is putting so 0.05 in so that's the minimum payout threshold so every time your rig has mined 0.05 ethereum it will then get paid out but again this pool only pays out once per day so when you start mining ethereum don't worry if you haven't been paid out within 24 hours because you might have only just mined over the threshold after say 27 hours so then you'll be on the next day's payout so don't worry if you've checked after kind of three or four days and you haven't been paid out then check back in with us but typically it will take a fresh miner probably two days to get their first payout so don't worry about that so then back to this so how we get um the payout threshold change is what we then need to do is give the ip address of our rig sounds more complicated than it is but it's pretty simple to get so we'll head back to uh, the mining software so if you go to simple mining here and then what you'll then need to do is if you click on the green info icon on the end of the rig and then you'll see over here it gives you your ip addresses but what we want is we want the public ip so you can see we've got the private ip and then the public so what you then need to do is if you show ip so that's going to show your public ip 
And just quickly, so this kind of makes sense, so you can see that the last three digits are obviously dot one three two, and then in the pool here, the settings it's asking for an IP which ends in one three two. So that's how we know we've got the right one. And then, so what we'll need to do is if we copy this here. So sometimes it's a little bit fidgety to copy. So copy that, and then if you then paste that into here. So you've got 0 0.05, we've pasted the IP address in from a rig, and then if you click submit, then so settings updated, so you've successfully done that. Um, so you don't need to do anything now, that's automatically paid out for every 0 0.05 Ethereum that you've mined, it will then pay out into your wallet address, which we've put in through Simple Mining. So you don't need to come in and do that again, you don't need to manually request any payout, it's automatically now set to pay you out. So yeah, so we can see that's done now. And then what you can then do is you go back on the dashboard here. It will then start to give you, so you can see now that it's giving a, a live update. So it's been around, you know, five to 10 minutes. So it can take that amount of time to register. Um, so until that point, you won't be able to change obviously the payout settings because it hasn't registered your miner yet. But that is now, so you can see you've got one worker active and then it'll give you your stats, which again, will take around 24 hours to average out and give you accurate earnings and accurate speeds. Um, but apart from that, so then you're all set up. So that's been kind of you know a quick, pretty quick tutorial on how to mine Ethereum. But as ever, if you've got any questions, if any part of this video wasn't clear at all, uh, then please feel free to even you know call the office, call the guys if you got the numbers, uh, and then we look yeah look forward to speaking with you soon.